Hi, my name is Dr. Paul Turek, director of the Turek Clinics in San Francisco and Los Angeles. These are men's health centers. I often get the question, should I treat my varicocele doctor? We talked about what a varicocele is. It's a dilated set of veins in the scrotum that men don't usually find on their own. They're found on physical exam, common cause of male infertility and low sperm count. They also cause pain and they can also cause testosterone levels to fall, although the data for that is less robust than it is for infertility. Varicoceles can be fixed, which is interesting, and, and the effects they have on sperm production can be reversed. In fact, it's the most common cause of a problem with low sperm count and it's the most common correctable condition in our field. I fix these for a living. Fixing it involves stopping the flow of blood from the body to the testicle that's going in the wrong direction and allowing it to go only in the correct direction from the genitals to the body. It's a surgical procedure. Uh, the best described one, uh, I've done about 3,000 of them, uh, is done at the level of the upper scrotum with a small incision using a microscope to be able to figure out which veins get tied and other vessels like arteries get left alone. So there is a skill set, it's not dangerous, but there's a skill set to get this done correctly and with low recurrence rates. It can also be done in the radiology suite, but that demands a lot of technical expertise in interventional radiology to plug the vein from the abdomen. It can be done with a robot, uh, but the robot tends to go a little high in the system, in the abdomen to get it done, where uh, not a lot of the branches are, so the recurrence rate is higher in the abdomen versus where we go, which is they call the subinguinal region, a little bit below a hernia repair would go. But the nice thing is in that low region, although technically quite demanding an operation, um, if the surgeon's experienced, it should not be a problem. The complication rates are real low. And men bounce back literally a day or two later because there's no muscle cut. It's basically a skin cut. And then when you get to those veins that are causing the varicocele, you tie them off. And so it's basically a skin cut and some ties and that's it. So there's very little to go wrong. 